Hello, hello, everybody. It's me, Catdog Pig Duck, and welcome back to the TPPI server. Uh, today, we've got a lot planned. Well, I don't know. We've got a we've got something planned. I don't. I, shoot, I don't know. We're doing some stuff, but uh, look at my feet at the moment. You'll see there's like a little gray square. It looks very unimpressive, but when I hit shift on it, no wait, I have to jump. Boom! I'm upstairs. I hit shift on it. Downstairs. So these are elevators. Uh, I think they're from Extra Utilities. Before I prove myself a fool, let's look that up real quick. Elevator. They're from Open Blocks. My fault. My bad. They are from Open Blocks, which are lovely. Um, I think they're great. Uh, they're a little cheap, I think. Uh, you put an ender pearl and you wrap it in wool and it gives you an elevator and you'll see like right above me there's a hole and you can see the elevator that's connected to it and I'm not sure what the range on these things are but these are pretty amazing I uh, I just jump to go up shift to go down and that's pretty amazing the sound effect is really cool too I like that boom but anyway let's get in the right mode here and uh, I want to show you some progress I've made on my house check it out um, so, you know, I picked a uh, palette of colors I wanted to use. I used this quarried stone, uh, redwood logs, and these steel. These aren't steel. These are stone poison blocks from Chisel. And also for the floors, I wanted to use these uh, dark wood planks. Um, and I think it came together really well. Uh, the colors are kind of complementary, I suppose. Uh, I'm not using that phrase correctly, but I think they go well together, as it were. Um, yeah, this is looking really nice. I'm pleased with this. Uh, uh, once I finally, you know, built the room and all the other connecting rooms together, this is just floor one. I like that there's like a little area here that goes up. I think that's interesting. I think that adds some kind of interest to the area. Uh, I'm not really a interior designer or architect, but I do like things that make stuff interesting, if that makes sense. I am a designer, but it's graphic design that's what my profession is. But, you know, uh, I think that makes you kind of a designer in a lot of aspects. I'm sure all you actual architects and interior designers out there are rolling your eyes at me, but uh, I liked how this came together. Once it was finally built, um, these are glass panes from Chisel, and uh, I think they're called like Japanese wood pane blocks or not wood pane uh, glass planes and oh I think they go so well with this look and it kind of makes the area look like a dojo or something like we could be doing karate in here so yeah I'll stop talking about the house but I love living above ground mainly for views like this look at that you can't see a view like that underground underground is for hobbits and dwarfs we are not we are neither we are we are Magnum PI, we live above ground, and we love to see the ocean. So anyway, uh, also, I put together, I, I built another pink generator, and I've harvested a lot of pink dye from my crops downstairs, and uh, got this little power setup going. So I've, uh, I was able, with you know just pink dye, to power up these hardened energy cells. And you, as you can see, the conduits go underneath, they connect in the middle, and then these uh, connect to the outputs on top and I'm all ready to start up some machinery. So let's go downstairs. Uh, one of the mods I've never messed with before is one called Mechanism and it looks pretty sweet. Uh, it looks very techy. It's very different from Industrial Craft and Greg Tech and all the other thermal expansion mods that are in here. I've never messed with it before. And uh, I think it has a way for us to make steel without, you know, going to the nether and collecting blaze rods like you would do with Railcraft or uh, just messing around with Greg Tech for like 20 hours and then you can finally make some steel ingots after building some damn nonsense. But uh, I, will, I will stop ranting about Greg Tech. We love Greg Tech. He's great. And... Things, everything is great. But anyway, we want to make something called, I think it's called a metallurgic infuser. And I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but my cat is meowing in the background. And I'm going to just go up there and let him outside. But I'm fighting that urge. We're just going to power on. 
He can just keep meowing. Sometimes he's he, he likes to tell me he's been inside too long. And uh, he just meows nonstop. Anyway, metallurgic infuser is what we're doing. Let's look at this. Hopefully it'll be able to be powered by uh, redstone flux. I'm pretty sure it will. So did I spell that right? I don't see it here. Oh, it's this weird looking thing. Look at this. Look at this thing. You can't see it because every time I hover over it, this giant black block covers it. But uh, it requires iron, redstone, furnaces, and something called osmium, which we have tons of. Look at all this. I haven't done anything with it yet because we haven't messed with it. I also upgraded my furnaces to iron furnace, and that was a huge pain in the butt. I had to make like a hammer and then take some iron and bang it into plates. And, you know, before you just take a furnace and surround it in iron, in the good old days, before, before Gregory showed up, and just started, hey guys, stuff is too easy. Let's make crap hard. Anyway, I'm complaining. I'm going to shut up. There we go. So let's see. Do we have redstone? We do not. Let's grab some real quick. Let's just grab a bunch. And let's see if we can make this metallurgic infuser and get started. We can. Very good. So I think with this metallurgic infuser, we should be able to put iron in it and turn it into like something called like enriched iron but let's go ahead and plug it in and look at this thing I don't even know what I'm looking at it looks like a car battery connected to like a Pokemon or something all right so you click it open you've got a lot of slots here and then stuff covered up by NDI which is annoying so I don't know what half I don't know what half these things do, but I think I read somewhere I could put iron in here and coal. Wow. Do you hear that? Oh, man. This thing makes the best noise. So it's going to do something. And that turns that into enriched iron. So I can't tell if this thing has energy. Oh, okay. Good. It is taking a redstone flux. That is amazing. So good. Our little pink energy cells here should be going down. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's either that or the charcoal I put in there is powering it. Carbon 20. Oh, okay. So the uh, coal is carbon. Got it. So that's enriching, turning it into enriched iron. I think then I take this enriched iron, if you can hear me over this. Hello? Okay, good. It stopped. Uh, if I put the enriched iron back in, maybe with some more coal, that turns into steel dust. Uh, let's go get some coal. Do I have any over here in this chest? Negative. All right, let's go downstairs. Shift. Oh, that's amazing. I love these mods. Open blocks is a hell of a mod. Way to go, open blocks guy. Or gal. I don't know. So let's uh, let's see if this bad boy needs some coal as well. You need coal? It does. Okay, let's see what this makes. Cross your fingers. I think this is going to be steel. Or steel dust, anyway. Steel dust! Do -do 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 -do! Awesome, guys. I was running low on the steel that I had found in a dungeon, and now we have a way to make more. And we didn't have to muck around in the nether, killing blazes to make a, you know, a blast furnace for railcraft or do a hundred million things with Greg Tech. So this is a pretty good way to make some steel dust. So now we gotta find a way to turn this very specific steel dust into steel ingots. And I think I know, but this is gonna be kind of a live test, so this may be a dramatic failure. And uh, you guys you guys like seeing me fail. Let's go ahead and put the rest of this iron in here. We'll let it do its business. But I think in my Tinker's Construct smeltery downstairs, I can put this steel dust in and smelt it up there. And then I'll have steel ingots and I can make myself another, I can make myself another drum. Uh, one of the problems I'm having at the moment is that these coke ovens are full of creosote oil and I've got nothing to put them in. I've got too much creosote oil. Yeah, poor me, right? Okay, so I've got some stuff in here already, but let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, they are working. 
Do I have enough? I, I have plenty of lava. Oh, great, guys. I am so stoked. Let's let that smelt, and we'll go upstairs and get some more. And maybe we can make another barrel this episode. Uh, no, while well, that's smelting. Because it's going to take quite a while for that stuff upstairs to even do anything. Oh, look. I made a portal. So, I made a portal, and I just broke it in front of you guys. Man, am I, I didn't know you could punch portals and break them. It's news to me. Oh, that's not the right thing either. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I need to get some stuff out of my inventory. It is a damn mess! Alright, we're going back down. We'll relight this bad boy. Alright, so I'm not... I just punched it again. What the hell's wrong with me? Alright, we'll get, let's get away from this thing. It's giving me troubles. I'm not going to go through it anyway. But hey guys, check out my die farm. It's going gangbusters. And I made this thing... Let's see, my inventory's a mess, so let's get some stuff out of it. Throw some of this stuff in here. But, I made this thing. It's a seeth, or scythe, whatever you guys want to call it, from Tinker's Construct. And you can harvest a 3x3 three three area. Or I guess it would be a 3x1, right? I mean, I'm not a math guy or anything, but look at all this. You take this dye essence, you put it in this shape in the crafting table, and boom. Pink dye for days. Look at that, 42. So that's how we're making our energy at the moment. And it, it's pretty good. It's pretty effective. I mean, I could just use coal or maybe all the coal coke that I'm making. Uh, let's get these stairs out of here. I want to pick up this stuff. But, oh, listen to this music. It's nice, but it is loud. That's not the right thing. I want to hit escape. You damn fool. It's music. There we go. Ah, that's better. So... Also, when you uh, harvest these magical crops, you get this stuff. You get some. Sometimes you get some essence dust. It's very low. But sometimes you get this nature essence. And I'm not sure what we can do with that. But I'm sure we need to collect it. So we're going to collect it. And let's replant these crops real quick. And we'll go upstairs and check on our steel ingots. Make sure they're the right thing. And, uh, yeah, guys, I'm really excited to get started with Mechanism. I know it's just one block right at the moment, but this block is making us steel. Steel, baby. Five steel ingots. Let's grab our handy-dandy pattern here. Where did I throw it? Did it throw it on the floor? There it is. My inventory is a mess. Get out of here, gold nugget. So let's grab it. Get out of here, gold nugget. Jeez. So that should make a steel ingot, right? It looked like it did. Where is it? Where are you at? How do I not see it? There it is. Ah, great. It's working. It's totally working. Anyway, let's empty this thing out. So we'll let it do its thing. It's making steel. And we now have steel without having to muck around in the nether. That's great. I got to go to the nether eventually anyway. I just, I always like to wait a while. And the only reason I have that portal in my basement was I tried to leave a gift at uh, Daximus's house. He's the other guy on the server at the moment. And I saw he had a portal in his base. I went through it, died immediately from a ghast attack, and then I had to uh, build my own portal to get out. And uh, yeah, so Bob's your uncle. I now have my own portal, and I figured since I'd already been to the nether by going through his, I may as well. So, anyway, that's why. But, eventually we're going to get into the nether. We're going to need some glowstone. And definitely some blaze stuff. And listen to this thing. This thing makes a racket. So, we need to find out what this slot does. This might be like an upgrade or something. I'm not sure. This looks like it's electricity. Yeah, this is redstone flux. So, if I had like a battery or something, I guess I could put it there. And if you push this button here, the one that says dump, I think you take a big dump. I could be wrong there. Oh, this turns it on and off. Very good. <laughs> and I guess this is a way to configure what pumps out of what direction. So, inputs are off. Outputs are here. Output blue. Dark green. 
Man, this is complicated. Auto eject, strict input. I have no idea. That's going to require some. That's going to require some thinking. Look at that steel, steel baby! Woohoo! So anyway, guys, I uh, as always, I want to thank you all for watching. And if you like the video, why don't you just give it a big old thumbs up for me? And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. I'd like to have a really cool subscriber like you. I bow to you. Oh, check it out. When I bow, like dirt comes off my shoes. It's like I'm. <laughs> it's like I come in. I came into the dojo and I'm wiping my feet. Oh, I wipe up my feet. Very good. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Bye.